You don't hear too much right now, but wait for this. The final team in the second to last flight of skaters. Tests of Virtue and Scott Moyer's minds must be racing right now. The music, the waltz goes on. Composed by Sir Anthony Hopkins, performed by Andre Rio. <laughs> Whistles are off. and Scott Moyer. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, from Canada, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Absolutely exquisite skating. There is the Moyer family. It was beautiful skating by Tessa and Scott. A little off on one of the twizzles. We'll have to look at that and see if that cost them dearly in the scores. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore are trying to chase down their American training partners, Davis and White, who have the lead right now. They have the lead. They had their personal best score. Here was the problem on the twizzles. You could see Tessa got a little bit off. It was a nice save, though, and they were able to get right back into the dance beautiful dance look at the body lines and the positions but this is the costly mistake you can see in slow motion and what it affects is the level of that section instead of a level four they'll get about a level three and it also hurts them with the quality of it um, and so their twizzle section right there they're going to lose about two points on that 
and in a race as tight, tight it is, as it is with Merrill and Charlie, boy, that's a lot to give up. Also, it's looking to me like one of their step sequences is under review. The judge is very slow with the marks here. And if that goes down from a level four to a level three, uh, a couple more points that they're losing. So not good news technically here for Tessa and Scott at home. Score to beat 77.12. It's not going to be something the audience can understand. And their score is 73.87. It will put them in the second place, but most importantly, look at the difference now between the Canadians and the Americans. It's about uh, four points. You're in tough now. <laughs>